And look who's back with us now, the former CEO and chairman of Chrysler, the former CEO of Home Depot, Depot, the one and only Bob Nardelli. Bob, it's good to have you on again. So we've got some breaking news coming out of Politico. This is a big blow to the Biden campaign. A major lack of enthusiasm for Biden among black voters in Milwaukee, in the critical battleground state of Wisconsin. You know, Bob, they, they're citing Biden's botched handling of the border collapse leading to crime in Milwaukee. They don't want the influx of illegal aliens like, quote, nearby Chicago. They're also citing Biden's failed promise at changing the criminal justice system. How worried, Bob, do you think the Biden campaign should be over this one? Well, Elizabeth, uh, they should be very worried about it. And thank you for having me on. I read that report uh, page by page. And almost every issue that was brought up, from inflation to crime to border, you name it, has had uh, tremendous impact on the decision that we'll make in November relative to who's the right next person to lead this country. And I would say, you know, this whole issue about inflation has been a lot like carbon monoxide. The longer you breathe it, the more lethal it becomes. And we've been breathing this now for almost three years, Elizabeth. In every dimension that you look at, for example, property tax, you know, politicians will get up there and say, I'm not going to increase the millage. And they don't. All they do is revalue the home from 500000 to a million. You know, if you use the surrogate of the consumers doing well, that's deceptively correct, uh, Elizabeth. For example, I filled my tank this weekend. It was $45. Does that mean I'm driving more? No, I'm paying more, Right. So whether it's home insurance, whether it's whatever service you get, everybody's using dynamic pricing because they can, and they're going to use it until they can't. So every service you buy, uh, all of the middle market uh, family-owned businesses that I deal with yeah. are really turned, they're thrown in the towel, Elizabeth, because inflation is just crushing them. And we've seen thousands of retail stores closed now because... What do you expect when you, in some cases, get a 40% wage increase, like we've seen in the auto industry? Businesses have only one choice, and that's to increase price and try to drive productivity and efficiency. And we'll see that with AI coming in. Yeah, so, you know, Trump, I, Trump really beats Biden by 21 points on the economy. That's in the latest Marquette poll. Trump is beating Biden by 12 points in the latest Quinnipiac poll and by five points on the economy uh, in the Fox News poll. The polls show Biden is down with Hispanic voters. He's dropped with blacks and women voters. He's got, Biden has no margin for error on this. Let's, wa let's watch what's going on. Watch. The Obama-Biden coalition is in trouble. It's in trouble. And I, I get beat up every time I say it, but you know, mm -hmm. it's obvious that it's in trouble. Um, and it has to do with a number of things. Uh, number one, um, the white working class guys left uh, for your campaign in 2016, uh, the Democratic Party. And now black and Latin working class guys are falling along. 45% of Hispanic voters prefer Biden compared to 39% for Trump. Last time he won 59%. That was 2020. So he's lost 14 points. Black voters under 50. He led by 80 points in 2020. Now by 37, still a lot, but he's lost 43 points. Only 36% of student debt holders. And he's lost 8% off women mm -hmm. since 2020. Yeah, I mean, Bob, that first quarter GDP growth number is going to be coming out, the final number, on Thursday. We're at stagflation. It's growing at 1.4%. We got a May PCE inflation data out Friday. Inflation is going to still show that it's sticky and stubbornly high. Final word, Bob. Yeah, so... So, Elizabeth, look, facts are friendly. You can talk all you want, but it's the tail of the tape. It's the numbers. Even if you look at employment, the, the lar second largest employer last year was the government. And where's the return on investment there while manufacturing jobs have really evaporated? Wow. Yeah, I, th I think the tail of the tape here certainly points to a change in administration come November, Elizabeth. Bob Nardelli, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you. Thank you.